Hello, everybody! This is Pahamar, and I spy a This is Darwin. Hello. And today, it's episode hey. 29! You have 48 health. You have 58. You're an overachiever. Oh. I'm gonna be fighting the wither. Exactly. Would you like to fight the wither today? Uh, you are more than welcome to. I am? You're not gonna help? Nope. Wow. Some friend you are, Pahamar. Delegation of duties. So I have a couple ideas. Once I and I'm continuing to try and continuing to not get smite on my sword, so that's fun. Um, but I'm gonna get it eventually, I'm sure. Um, I mean, I, if I really wanted to, I could make like a fancy tinker sword with smite on it. But I'd rather get it as an enchant because then I can do other cool things that are fun. Um, what I would like to do though is, where's my alchemy set? I have one around here somewhere, don't I? Ooh, simple catalysts. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to use some alchemy to make this a little bit more fun. You Don't you have an alchemy you set over here? Do I? Where is it? I always forget it's where I put it. It's over by your uh, Thumbcraft system. Is it? Is that where I put it? Okay, that's yep. cool. Yep. Magic is as magic does. Right. So I'm just going to gla glass bottle real quick and visit. I'm loving the ritual that we've got going on here, by the way doing a really nice job. I'm producing mutagen. Oh, are you? You got that stuff set up already? Yeah. The mu so, guys, before this episode, we learned that the mutagen producer stores an insane amount of RF. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not that insane, but yeah, it's pretty insane. It's 5 million. It killed our AE system. <laughs> It's not that insane, but yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. It's a good thing we got this reactor going. Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, that's just to store. It's not like it needs 5 million consistently. No, it's just, it's it's an incredible buffer. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what kind of draw it has on the system, though. If that's the buffer, what kind of usage is it? You're looking at the mut mutatron, the mutagen uh, producers mutagen over here. Producers yeah, over here. right. I must not be doing too bad. Okay. Nice. Looks good, dude. Uh, so I'm going to use a little bit of alchemy. I have to craft some catalysts, and they're a little bit of a nuisance to craft. Um, but it should be doable. Um, yeah. Why don't I maybe set up the ritual of the automated alchemy thing? Ritual of binding, unbinding, high jump, magnetism, crusher, speed, shepherd, well of suffering, da 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 da. How do you find a expert bus? I don't know, put it down and remove all the things inside of it. Yeah, I did that. Uh, beats me. You can still use it in recipes, though. Ah, okay. Oh, why'd you do that? What'd I do? You overrode my recipe. Ah, you'll live. What if I didn't? What if I was dead? I was dead. Well, then uh, that would be revenge for you dumping me into the void. Hey. You know what? I almost you know wish that that was intentional so I could claim that as my prank for you. Because I owe you one. Yeah. Why do you owe me a prank? Because my patrons made me do it, and you don't have witchery to protect oh. you here. Hey, I'll figure out how I have witchery to protect me here. Well, once you well, figure that out, I will run scared. Now that I've said that, though, is probably when Direwolf is going to sick the wither on me. Yeah? Seems like something you would do. I've got a bucket of mutagen. Alright, so I may have just automated alchemy. Though, so I kind of forget where the alchemical part goes. Does it go in the back? It might go in the back. If this doesn't work, I'll have to go look up what I did wrong, but I think this is all I need to do. I 
And I might need to have a blood orb in there, but we'll see. All right, so how does All this right, Megatron work? I need lab works and bees. Is that what it needs to be? Well, I don't know, guys. We'll be back in a minute once I figure out what I need to do here. All right, guys, we're back. I remember there was one little thing I forgot, and that's that you need to put the target item in the blood altar on top here, and then it starts automating and doing its thing. So we've got stuff happening. Nice. Sweet. Nice. We've already got four simple catalysts in here. And I think so, I figured okay. out how to use the Mutatron. Oh, yeah? Yep. So now that I'm producing Mutagen with my Mutagen producer, and that's just taking Glowstone... Right. It's taking, uh, yeah, it's using glowstone to produce mutagen. Which nice. gets pumped yeah. into the mutatron, because I'm storing the liquid oh, in the AE right. system. So, right, so it takes a princess in the top slot, a drone in the bottom, and you'll get a guaranteed um, uh, queen of the the new breed as the output. The output. And it uses right. one of these labware in the process. So from That's this, not too bad. yeah. Uh, That's pretty easy to do, it looks like. It is. So I just need to figure out what bees I need to get to to get a Certus comb, a Mellow comb, an Energetic comb. And I've never heard of this Essence of a Shallow Grave. Uh, it's from Extra Bees. Or maybe it's from Magic Bees. Yeah, I think it's from Magic Bees. Uh, it might actually be in the Thaumonomicon. It needs uh, Soulful Wax, which is produced from Soul Combs. Which come from spirit right, bees. Sure. Yeah. All right. So I have a little bit of alchemy to do. It's going to take a few minutes of crafting. Do you want to come back in a minute once that's done and you figure yeah, out what bees? Yeah, because I need design. to figure out a family tree for all these bees. Okay. See you guys in just a moment. Fire aspect two, sharpness three. Still no good. Boo veto. <laughs> Pymar, guess what I got? Do you have a jar of dirt? No, I have smite five. Woot. Yeah. You wanna know what, what I just got? What you just got? Uh no, it wasn't that. I'm making bees. Oh really? Yeah, I got sinister bees now. Nice. I'm also working on more enchanting. So I'm using the Mutatron to actually get the bees I want, but I still need to br like once you mix a princess and a drone and you get the queen of the kind you want. Okay. And the queen will produce pure offspring, but you still actually have to have them do their bee thing. Oh. Okay. So it's pretty much, so pretty much, you know, do the bee thing, run upstairs, let them do their bee thing, come back downstairs, do the mutate thing. Blah, blah, blah. It's pretty sweet, right. though. I spent a lot of time manually trying to even just get to the um, majestic bees. Yeah. And now it's like, I'm already on Sinister, but the combs that are necessary, they are not easy ones to get to. Oh, I'm sure. Just the Certus one, the Quantum Bees. Bad news? Seven layers deep. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. The Monastic That's is part lot. of that one, so of the four combs, let me get my quest book out. So Certus is quantum bees. Mellow combs are monastic bees. Essence of a right, shallow so. grave is made from the wax from spirit bees. And energetic combs come from excited bees. So mellow wow, combs mellow. are produced by monastic. And monastic is a requirement for the quantum bees. So I'll be able to do two and one stone there. But the right. essence of a shallow grave one, that's, a, that's an even deeper one than the quantum one. So... Harsh. Yeah, it's it's hard even just writing this on paper. <laughs> but thankfully, with <laughs> this industrial uh, these industrial apiaries, because I have this lifespan upgrade, I can quickly get these queens to do their thing and then uh, and, uh, do more breeding. So I'm right. on sinister. Uh, Next, I need to make the mutagen's got to help though. Oh yeah, totally. Because I don't have like, to worry about breeding show. these and then losing my traits and whatnot. So now that right. I have yeah. Sinister, I can mix Sinister and Cultivated to get Fiendish. I mix Modest and Fiendish to get Frugal. 
modest and frugal to get austere, monastic and austere to get secluded. Like, it just, it snowballs. Nice. It's, so it's tedious, but Gendistry makes this much faster. I could not imagine doing this manually. Right. Anyway, you are, you're getting ready for some wither action. I am. Uh, you reminded me that we actually have another star in our AA system for some reason. I guess we got it as a reward at some point. Yeah, I don't remember that. I honestly don't either. Sorry guys, I know it just looks like I'm staring at a block, but I'm actually staring at my notes in front of me. <laughs> Do so you want to come back in a few minutes? or? No, I want to show... I don't know if you're... Uh, maybe your viewers probably want to see this too. I'm going to make a fiendish bee. So if you want to come over yeah. to the Mutatron, okay. I need a Sinister Princess. And I need a Cultivated Drone. Okay. I'll be there in one second. Let me just kick off this uh, Power Catalyst upgrade thing that I'm doing. Well, you do that. I'm going to check on those other queens that I had going. Cool. Just get a Warp Pulse. Right, so you're at the Mutatron, you said? I will be there in a second. Okay. So yeah, the Genetics Lab where you get 16 of them for one diamond. It's not bad. Yeah, so uh, we got our RF, we RF. have our Mutagen, we have our genetic, Genetics Labware. So I put in the Princess, put in right. the drone. It. it does its thing. Neat. And we should get a Fiendish Queen. That's kind of cool. It is. So now I go upstairs, I put her in the apiary, she does her thing, she gives me a princess and a drone, and I come back downstairs and I repeat the exercise for the next one. Sweet. Well, I am going to brew a potion. I just have to figure out which one I want to brew now. I just realized that the ones I had up here, I had the, um, I had one of them with the automation upgrade, so it was automatically giving me queens. Right. And I actually, I wanted her to just give me the princess and the drone. I didn't want them to breed again. So guys, when you're using the industrial apiary, check your upgrades. Right. Anyway. Um, so let's see. What's the recipe for... Hmm. I don't know what the recipe for hmm is. I'm trying to figure out exactly which one does strength. Give me a minute, guys. I'll come right back, and we'll figure that out. Hey, Dyer. Yo, Pymar. I just realized we finally need to crack those villager eggs. Oh, do we? Indeed. Why I is need, that? I need an apiarist villager if I want to get the monastic bee, so I'm going to build him a little house. Sweet. Or I'm getting myself, hopefully, a cool potion. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's see, greater power catalyst, blaze powder, weak binding agent. That should be what I need. Hmm, it's not cooking. Oh, right, probably because I need that in there. Maybe not that. Maybe we it needs so many to be this here for Make a stack of villager eggs. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's where you get villager eggs from? Is emeralds? Uh, eight emeralds and a chicken egg. But we got six uh, villager eggs from a quest bag early. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a little right, baby. What am I yeah. Really? Let's see. I got a blacksmith. I got a thomcraft guy. One emerald for one alimentum. Right. Uh, fortune two. Wow, uh, three emeralds for a reusable safari net. Oh wait, I probably need to put the flask over here. That's that's what I needed to do. Derpy derp. I know I'd figure it out eventually. There we go. Strength four four. That's ridiculous. Five hundred and twenty percent attack damage when applied. <laughs> that's cool. Probably want that to last more than fifteen seconds though. I got Elvis. You got Elvis? Nice. That's pretty cool. Look at these little baby villagers. 
All right, come back in a minute. Sounds good. Some cool stuff. Like recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Ah, I gathered. Yeah, because I was being all sneaky with the whole... with the things. Yeah, I'm not having much luck getting the ones I want. I'm making another bound sword, so if that terrifies you, please stand back. Okay, well, just try not to die. I promise nothing. Run away! So excited I got Smite 5. I was worried I'd get 4 and have to, like, copy it. Did you get the sword? Nope. Really? Every now and then that sword doesn't pop out. If we were worried about diamond use, I would probably complain, but eh. Alright, now I'm getting worried. <laughs> Where is this sword? I'm not sure. I'm going to try one more time, and then I'm just going to do with something else. I don't know. We'll see. Was shocking yourself part of it? Uh, kind of. I have to kind of be in there. To... There's a sword. Nice. That's better. Alright, so I've got my sword now, and I can... We have an anvil around here, right? Yep. Yep. I can apply Smite 5 to it. Nice. I'm going to see if I can Let's spawn can... this exact apiarist. Alright, I am going to now get a wand of warding thingy. I'll come back in a minute once I've got all the ingredients ready. Sounds good. Okay. Mr. Pahamar, how you doing? I am good. I'm just trying to get myself some emeralds. Yeah. Because I'm trying to get monastic bees. What are you up to? I'm over at our initial starting house. Why are you over there? Would you like to come see? Alright. Oh. I warn you. Yeah. This might be dangerous. You have a very good pick, sir. It's flux induced. Wow. Infused or whatever. It runs on flux. So, uh, you want to join me? I wonder what you're up to. Hold on, let me get some emeralds going. Well, what I'm up to is that, hey, guess what we need? I'm going to bet you need wither skulls. You're going to bet correctly, because you need wither skulls to summon the wither. So I'm going to get my awesome armor with lots of protection and thorns on it. I made myself an air sigil from Blood Magic, so I can at least zip around a little bit better. You have looting on that? Or looting 5. Uh, sorry, 4-5. Uh, nice. So I'm going into the nether, you coming? I'm kind of worried, because I don't have awesome armor like you do. So just don't bring anything. Alright, hold on. Let me mash these up. I've just heard for like the last 28 episodes or 29 episodes, however many we've recorded, how insanely difficult the nether is on this map. Yeah. You, have you ever played Diablo? Uh, I don't know that I have. Yeah. Like the first yeah. Diablo? Yes. Let's see what I want to bring. Not my There's a sigil here. as well that I'm probably going to want. Um, sigil of Elemental Affinity, I'm pretty sure. So that's a lot harder to make than it usually is. Okay, um, so water sigil. And I'm not honestly sure if that's harder to make than usual, but...
If you die in the nether, you don't necessarily lose your, like, green and, uh, yellow and red hearts, right? Uh, no, they're items. So, as long as you get back to where your items are, you should be fine. Let's see, do I want a bow? Nah, this is... I should take some food. Alright, let's do this. One sec, I just want to get something that'll make me immune to lava damage. Would it work for me, or do I need to have, like, um, life points in my pool or whatever? Yeah, you need to have life points in the pool. Yeah, I don't... I don't do that. You don't I haven't do done life that. points in the pool? That. I haven't done that yet, actually. I've, I've done nothing magical. I've all been about the cooking, and the liquids, and the bees. You've been magical You've been, yeah. army there. I like magic mods. I take this bound blade, but I'm afraid it's gonna like really hurt me. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily use that if I were you. What if I, can I charge up my master blood orb with life points? You can. Like if you put your um, well actually I don't think I need that. If you put uh your mass, if you put one of your blood orbs in, oh cool, you already filtered it with wooden planks. I don't know who did that, but it's not me. Well, Let me just snag well, this for a minute. Hang that's on a sec. That's fine. Oh, is it? Yeah, I got yours. yours. Oh, okay. Well, now we have each other's. Well, there's yours. Thank you. There's yours. Oh, away it goes. <laughs> now Where's it's uh? In the AE system. Where's all our mobs? Alright guys, we'll be back in a minute. Let me just charge up this thing in the blood altar. Welcome back, Dyer. Cool. Alright, I think that's what's needed. How do I tell how many points are in my network again? The divination? Yes, and there should be one in the network already for you. Nice, I've got fire resistance. Sweet. 8,000 right, I'm ready for the is that enough? Uh, maybe, but you have to make yourself the Sigil of Elemental Affinity. What about Flight? Uh, you'll need the Air Sigil. And it's not really Flight, it's more like... Um, like zipping forward. You can just hang back if you want, and I'll, we can, you know, stick near the portal. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. I might have to venture deeper into the nether, that's why I wanted to make sure I had this thing to protect me from fire and whatnot. Alright, I'm entering okay. the nether, sir. As am I. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little afraid. A little afraid. Alright, so there's zombie pigman who's like right now attacking me. I wasn't going to attack him, but. Rare Despoiling Pigment Zombie of Repulsion. Life Steal Poisonous Gravity. Ah, ah. This is terrible! Yeah, right? Yeah, go beat up Direwolf. They got Life Steal. They got Life Steal. Fiery Life Steal and Sprint. Wow, they are not friendly, are they? Nope. Oh, by the way, don't mine quartz, it explodes. Awesome. And see that, see that little red silverfish over there? Yeah. They will mess you up. So really? bad. Really? So bad. Alright. So, you hang out kind of near the coordinates. What is it? Negative 112, 167? I'm going to look around for a nether fortress a bit. You flying? Yeah. Kind of. Alright. Um, so, yeah, there are some nasty things here. That's Back! Sure. Back! All right. If you need to go, just leave. Like, don't hang out on my account. I'd rather you survive and all that. I don't even know where these things are coming from. 
Just keep I flying your green chest. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm kind of doing. I also want to check with my sigil and see how I am for life points. So I'm at 60,000. So I'm good. I got some actually decent stuff from killing those big men, so that's kind of cool. I just got a blaze rod. Nice. Still no luck on the fortress. Maybe we should come back in a minute once I found it, because this could get boring really fast. Yeah, and I'm going back yeah. because I'm completely useless oh, here. Oh, I found a fortress. You did? You did? Yes. Now all I need is a wither skeleton, and we are done here, sir. Do you need a sword with Do you beheading? Need a sword with beheading? Uh, I will want a sword with beheading. Because I have um, a sword with beheading. Ideally, I'd like the, the, the sword that has the beheading effect on it already, and then buff it with beheading. Oh, you want to make yeah, it that? Cleaver? Yeah, cleaver plus beheading. That's what I'm thinking. Come on, where's a weather skeleton when you need one? You know if I was here and like, I need nether ward, I hope there's no nether skeletons around, like, then there'd be problems, right? There'd be like 60 <laughs> of them. Come on, weather skeleton, where you at? Found a chest. Has horse armor in it. I'm Good so nervous. Horse armor. The the insanity of what I had to deal with with those zombie pigmen makes me really nervous for this little map here. There's some diamond horse armor in here. I want you uh, to mine some quartz just to see exactly what it does. I don't want to mine some quartz you do. and make you mine it. I guarantee that you do. Do my heart canisters not count in here? So I, saw, I don't seem to have as much health as I did before. Either that or it's just a visual bug. Uh, I don't have mine back yet. Like, I'm only at max normal 10 health. Alright. Maybe we'll come back now, because I still haven't found another skull with a skeleton dude, and it's getting to be long and arduous. I'll record if something exciting happens, guys. I promise. We'll be right back. All right, Net. Go! Nice. You found, you found something? I found a wither skeleton. All right. I'm making my way to you. Uh, what were those coordinates again? Because I'm guessing you're right near them. Let me go through the portal again, because I ran back home. Oh, okay. The nether is a scary place. I gotta... I just realized something. How are we even gonna get to the end? We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Alright. YouTube will be back once oh, I oh, find oh, my oh, way oh, back oh. to the base. Negative 136. Uh-huh. 185. It's actually quite a far ways away. You flew quite a way. Ow, ow, Negative ow, 186, ow. 135. What's the Y level? 59, 60. I can see you. Oh, I decided it'd be kind of fun to mine some quartz, and it exploded, and then lava started, and... Oh, it's a what? bad time. A bad yeah, time. I, I didn't yeah, do a I smart thing. Do a smart thing. Negative 186, 135, you said, right? One thir negative 139, 187. And what was the one level? 60. You're okay, close. I'm like right above you. Yeah. Well, I'm going back. Because I've okay. taken some things off. Some things. Found it! Getting out of here. Catch up with you guys in a minute. Alright, Pahmar. Unfortunately, it looks like we've hit the wrapping up point. But, I've got a wand focus of warding. What I want to do now is um, set up the wither skeletons that I've got in here in the auto spawner. We still have mob essence, right? You didn't kill it. I haven't even touched the stuff that's in the AE system. Good. 
Um, yes, so I think what we'll do is we'll come back next episode, and I'll have a cleaver with beheading on it, and I'll start killing some wither skeletons, and we'll make a room for spawning the wither in and killing the wither in. Sounds cool. Like plan. So, all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll be back next time. We're going to spawn and fight the wither relatively soon. I've got an awesome potion. I've got an awesome sword. It should make the wither fight relatively trivial at this point, but you never know. So you want to be cautious because who knows? Maybe Jay did something evil to the wither, and now he's like crazy hard. Oh, man. I have nasty yeah, princesses the entire Sister. time. Have you ever seen these uh, cool uh, wand that I have, by the way? Mm, what wand do you got there? Got there. That one. What did it just, do, did to it you? just do to you? Try and mine that block. The one underneath you. Not the one underneath me. <laughs> that one. Ah, you warded it. Yeah. That'll um, protect the ah. blocks from wither explosions as well. Made a bit of a fix the floor that Pahamar broke. All right, guys. So for now, Daryl Twenty Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Daryl Twenty is falling because Pahamar. That's right, because Pahamar. It's a thing. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you guys.